Did Lockheed Martin just reveal America's highly classified new stealth fighter in an Instagram story? Let's talk about this very interesting shape and what we know about Lockheed Martin's efforts to field a replacement for the legendary F-22 Raptor. On July 1st, Lockheed Martin's official Instagram account posted a whole series of images celebrating the 80th anniversary of their Skunk Works division. Now, the Skunk Works is where Lockheed Martin has long developed their most highly classified military programs. It was founded back in 1943 by aviation pioneer Kelly Johnson, and since then, the Skunk Works has pumped out the U-2, the SR-71, the F-22, the F-35, and a number of efforts that have yet to be unveiled. Now, we know for a fact that the U.S. Air Force started development on a replacement for the F-22 Raptor in 2014, in an effort they call the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program. Now, we assume that there have been three competitors for this contract, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing all firms that have experience with developing and fielding stealth aircraft. Now, we know that the NGAD fighter will be the center of a family of systems, which means it'll fly alongside AI-enabled drone wingmen. And we know that it's supposed to be the stealthiest fighter that's ever flown. And we know that thanks to Air Force statements, as well as a whole slew of official renders that have come out of the Air Force's prime contractors and the Air Force itself. Almost all of these renders omit things like standing vertical tail surfaces, leaning closer to the stealth bomber design approach than a traditional stealth fighter. Now, Lockheed Martin themselves have been pushing for this tailless design since before the F-22 Raptor entered operational service. Back in 1999, they unveiled their X-44 Manta concept, which looks a lot like modern 6th gen fighter renders. The X-44 Manta effort really was a tailless F-22 Raptor, and it wasn't aimed at entering service so much as testing the feasibility of removing control surfaces and compensating for that through thrust vector control. In 2012, Lockheed Martin released a calendar to journalists that, among other things, included a new render for a sixth-generation fighter that, honestly, looks like it borrows a lot of design cues from the F-22's competition, the Northrop YF-23. And that same design surfaced again in a new animation Lockheed released back in 2017. But later that same year, Lockheed Martin released an entirely new render of a sixth-generation fighter. This one harkened back to that X-44 Manta design and looked a bit more like this shape they just released on July 1st. In 2021, photos were leaked from the parking lot of Lockheed Martin's Hellendale radar cross-section testing facility. Now, this unusual shape was photographed on a trailer as it was being relocated within the facility. And it's incredible that these pictures surfaced. Lockheed has done a very good job of keeping a tight lid on most things NGAD related. Now, it looks like this object is probably upside down, and there's nothing to say that it's really from the NGAD program. It could literally just be testing a modern equivalent of the hopeless diamond. In other words, a shape you test to see how stealthy it is, but not necessarily an actual aircraft design. In 2022, we got two more potential glimpses at Lockheed Martin's concept for a sixth-gen fighter. The one we know for sure came in their renders for the LMXT tanker program, which was shown in the renders refueling what looks to be a sixth-generation fighter that bears a number of resemblances to previous NGAD renders and even this unusual shape. In 2022, we also got a glimpse of an unusual aircraft parked on the runway at Area 51. Now, these images, taken via satellite and published by the War Zone, can't be tied directly to Lockheed Martin's endeavors. In fact, this could be Boeing's or Northrop Grumman's aircraft. But this image is often tied to Lockheed Martin's efforts in common conversation. And then, on July 1st, we got a look at this new shape 
on Lockheed Martin's Instagram. Last night, I created this file and printed this using my 3D printer, and I'll upload that to Thingiverse for anybody else who wants to have a neat little NGAD cutout. Now, the fact of the matter is, we can't say for sure that this really is Lockheed Martin's 6th Gen fighter design, nor will we know which design will ultimately be fielded as the next generation air dominance fighter, until a decision is made sometime next year. But until then, this interesting shape may be as close as we get to knowing what the next generation air dominance fighter really may look like.